It is the largest national STEM gathering of Latino and Native American scientists. This year, members of SOCNUS are converging on Prince George's County, holding their annual conference in the D.C. area for the first time since 1989. Um, yes, well, mainly I'm here to reach out to grad student, um, grad schools. I'm interested in reproductive physiology. I'm an animal science major back home, and I work with breast cancer research. I'm interested in marine medicinal chemistry for development of new uh, pharmaceuticals um, and natural product research in general. Thousands of Latino and Native American students are meeting at National Harbor for a three-day conference on cutting-edge science, networking, mentoring, and professional development. The event is hosted by SACNAS, or the Society for Advancement of Chicanos, Hispanics, and Native Americans in Science. It includes panels and seminars, indigenous exhibitors, and much more. We wanted to make sure that we paired the federal workforce with our membership. Uh, we have a broad representation. We have over probably about 3,500 folks that we're expecting here to join. Uh, we have students that are going to present their research. Uh, they will be mentored and judged. Uh, we have over 100 professional development sessions for our, mem for our participants, as well as scientific symposia um, and a lot of networking going on. Maria Elena Savala is of Mexican and Tarascan descent. She's both a board member and presenter for this year's conference. The reality is, is that faculty help um, students navigate um, the, ac the academy and they also help them navigate uh, their profession and so that's part of it. So you become a mentor as you well a as... Mentor. Yes. The SACNAS conference ends on Saturday. And if you'd like more information on the conference, you can log on to 2015socnus.org.